it's me, Mark the Movie Man, and while I was away, I got a chance to watch the latest DVD sent to me from Fiendish Films. Yes, today we're going to take a look at Victor Juliet's Director's Cut. Yes, everyone, never let it be said, I don't bring you something interesting to watch or review, and today I did bring you something interesting to watch slash review, and that is Victor Juliet's Director's Cut. Yes, I got this DVD in the mail, popped it in, and I wasn't expecting a whole lot, and I was very pleasantly surprised. Now, it is a no-budget guerrilla horror movie, okay, so it's... You know, you've got to get it in that context, you know, or what I like to refer to as handy cam films. What was great about this first off, that it was, even though it was a low budget film, is the shots were steady. It wasn't all, you know, movement, you know, it, it just shot off the shoulder. They did uh, have a tripod, so that's always a plus. But what I really enjoyed about this film is that it knew exactly what type of film it was. Now, uh, to give you a little background, the story is in five acts. Each act is a kind of a story in its own right, but it's also connected loosely one way or the other to the other acts in the film. Uh, kind of a Tales from the Crypt Pulp Fiction type style, okay? Uh, so that part, uh, I, I didn't expect it to be in that type of style, and I was pleasantly surprised, especially with the second act, which is kind of a behind-the-scenes type of uh, mockumentary type of shoot. I really enjoyed that part of the film especially. What I also enjoyed about the film is that the three principal actors, uh, P uh, Juliet, excuse me, Victor Juliet, uh, Peter Thomas and Rachel Ward all did a fairly good job of conveying they're actually trying to play characters, okay? They weren't just people reading dialogue. They did an excellent job of actually trying to be someone else on camera, which doesn't always come across on most of these low-budget, no-budget films, okay? So there's good pluses there. Also, the gore. I enjoyed the gore and the attempts at makeup. A no-budget film like this what they did with the gore effects and the makeup effects were really well done, again, within the context of the film, okay? And like I said, there were some jokes in the dialogue to where you realize that they knew exactly what type of film they're making, especially with the extras on here, which uh, give you some tips, kind of, about casting for a no-budget film. I really recommend, if you do get the DVD, to check those out as well. They are hilarious, performed by Rachel Ward, I believe. Okay, folks, um... Now, the only real few bad things I didn't like about it were some of the supporting uh, cast uh, weren't really good. They were, uh, did come off as people kind of reading the dialogue, you know, just off the paper. They didn't really convey themselves as well as the three principal actors, uh, which kind of took away from the film. And the only other thing, really, which a lot of the low-budget, no-budget films suffer from is uh, the poor audio, okay? At points, the audio uh, was hard to hear. You could tell it was out of sync. And uh, it kind of took away from the film as well. Plus the fact that I don't know if it was the way the DVD was, but occasionally you'd only hear it out of one speaker instead of the other. Uh, so that kind of took away from it as well. But on the whole, for a no-budget film, and knowing exactly what type of film they were making, I give them props for that, okay? I have to give it two and a half stubs, okay? Halfway to five. Two and a half stubs. It is worth uh, purchasing. Go to their site, check it out, especially if you're looking for something different because of all the crap that's coming out of Hollywood. Okay, just remember it is a no-budget film, and as long as you approach it like that, I think you will be surprised and enjoy Victor Juliet's Director's Cut. That'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Until next time, keep that ticket stuff.